Can you look at the Second King chapter sixteen verse six? Yet he did not put the sons of assistants to death. Assistants to death. And according with what is written in the book of Law of Moses, what the Lord command, fathers shall not be put to death for their children. No children put to death for their parents, their part fathers. Each is to die for his own sins. What does it mean? <coughs> If a father sins, yeah. He need to pay for his price. If a son sins, he need to pay his own price. No father, no son. Therefore, <coughs> this is the main scripture too against the generation curse. The mainstream, like the YouTube mission YM, they say there is a generation curse. But fully understand, of course, some other scripture supporting for generation curse. What scripture generation curse? <coughs> Can you <coughs> keep it? This one go to the. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. How many generation will bless? Especially one thousand. Which verse is it? Twenty-eight verse. Seven nine. Okay, seven nine. But even chapter twenty-eight, there is uh, some uh, blessings ten thousand generation, a thousand generation. <coughs> And then if you if you disobey, there is a three to four generation will be cursed. Let's say Deuteronomy chapter seven, yeah. verse nine. Yeah. <coughs> Therefore know that the Lord your God, He is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with yeah. those who love Him and keep His commandments. Thank you. How many generations? One thousand generation. <coughs> and where is the verse? It, uh, whoever disobey. Five, yeah. Nine. Chapter five, verse nine. Yeah. Okay. You shall not bow down to, not, uh, to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God. <coughs> I'm a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers from the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Yeah, you can write down on your note. Yeah, and Deuteronomy chapter five verse nine. How many generation? Three, two, four. three to four. Third and fourth generation will be blessed when you obey God. Yeah, I oh, know. Sorry, no. When you disobey God, three to third to fourth generation. Yeah. How many generation? How many years per generation? No, one generation. No, around the forty years. Forty years. One generation around the forty years. Forty years. Some some theorists say around thirty gen, thirty years, one generation. Which means, um, let's say, calculate the forty by four. How many? One hundred and sixty years will be cursed. Short, but. As you say, the seven chapters, Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse nine. How many years? Can you calculate how many? One thousand generation by forty. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like everlasting. <clears throat> This is uh, like the uh, most people though who say there is a generation curse and generous blessing. For example, I understand. I studying about the uh, generation curse. For example, if a mother is a prostitute, and the daughter easily to become prostitute, not because of you know generation curse. Of course, we can say the generation curse. Why I say easily the daughter become the prostitute? Because when she was young, what she see, and she will get. She always see the mother have she has got the mother has got some custom, the man. Okay, that kind of environment become normal. That way she grow, and then she can commit the sins easily, easily. <coughs> One lady she married. She used to be a prostitute. 
and then she married and then a oh, husband of that person then then woman come to me pastor paul can you help me my wife already married woman she shouldn't look in for another man i agree but you know what happened she he said to me pastor paul up to now he said, within one year within one year up to now do you know how many men she committed she committed adultery 156 men and he told him he was crying let's pray together i counseling for the lady but it's very it's like an addiction <clears throat> why she become like that because her mother was a prostitute her mother died of three, around three years ago i think you may know her Do you know this is well known in to say her name is stella hmm? stella she was 34 she died 30 young young lady but do you know what happened? Stella's father raped Stella when she was young. Can you imagine? Her own father raped her own daughter. Not only that, when Stella's daughter, yeah, I don't want to mention her name, <coughs> because she tell her all the dice. I preached to her, she's, I think she's in heaven, I preached to her. Stella's daughter, do you know what happened? When she was nine, her grandfather raped her. Do you know the same man raped uh, his own daughter and her his granddaughter when she was nine? Oh, terrible! And then do you know what happened? She told everything to her her auntie, auntie and uh, this girl went to the police station report everything. And do you know what happened? It's a top news actually on the newspaper. You can easily to find out that guy, his uncle, you no, know, his uh, grandfather get a. Uh, 46 years prison sentence, long sentence, yeah, normally short, <coughs> 46 years, because of, can you imagine that man raped her own daughter and granddaughter, terrible, terrible, and do you know what happened, because of when she was nine and raped by her grandfather, and she was uh, not normal, she was not normal. Her mother become prostitutes. When her mother become prostitutes, then she has got uh, many customers. She asked her daughter working together. Oh my God. Can you imagine? I knew them very well. Her mother is a prostitute. Her daughter prostitutes. Terrible, terrible condition. But uh, after they married, they have the one baby, and then they, you know, their brother. He realized his wife committed other 156 people in one year. And then they are no normal. And the social worker took the baby. They cannot keep the baby. I met her a month ago around this area, <coughs> last year, in November, December. And um, she saw me. Very sad. But what this point is, uh, you can say it is still generation curse, but when the father and mother committed a sin in that area, children follow that step easily. If a father and mother, yeah, the drug addict, when their children they saw drugs, drug is a normal, strange things because they used to see and take the drug when they are young age. How many understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. And um, <coughs> your father, mother, never drug, take drugs? Uh, uh, what? Mom, mom, mom. mom. mom your mom take a, took a drug, yeah? yeah. How, 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 how many well, years? She, she knew that I, I got drugs. She told me. <coughs> <laughs> she, she knew that she had not been a cupboard forever. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she went, yeah, she went she, she, one, uh, when, How old was she was when she died? Oh, she was 16 when she gave birth to me. She was 31 when she died. When she died? She she was a uh, drug addict, yeah? Because of drugs, she died, eh? Can you imagine your mommy deliver you when you were 16? And when she was, uh, when she was um, 31 and she passed away, yeah? You were 15 or 16? 13. She was 13. She was a young girl. And then, and then she died. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then you like look like the you followed your your mom uh, took the drugs. You saw that, yeah, mm -hmm. when you were young. When was it you take uh, the drug first time in your life? Um, Seventeen. Seventeen. Can you imagine? She saw when she was young, and mommy took the drugs, and when she was seventeen, and take uh, the drugs first time in your life, because of what you what you see, and what you get it. <coughs> your mom used to take the drugs. For if your mommy need a Bible and pray and fear God, you see what you see, pray. Your mommy pray. What you see, your mom fear the Lord. And then uh, your life is much, much better. But now, thanks be to God, now <coughs> you are born again. Praise God. And because of you, your children, your anybody around you, they start a new life. Do you know that? Complete transform. Yeah. Therefore, according to the scripture, Second uh, Kings chapter 14, verse 6, yeah, their sins, yeah, I can read it for you at the end of the book, chapter 14, verse 6. Each is to die for his own sins. Where your sins what? That. No, your father's sin. No, your mother's sin. <coughs> Each of your sins. Okay? And uh, can you look at the same chapter, I mean, same book, Second King, chapter 22. Second King, chapter 22, verse uh, 8 to 11. <clears throat> Second King chapter twenty two verse eight to eleven Hilkiah the high priest uh, said to uh, Shaphan the secretary I have found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. He gave it to Shaphan and who read it. Then Shaphan the secretary went to the king and reported to him, your officials have paid out the money that was a temple of the law and have entrusted it to the workers and uh, supervisors at the temple. Then uh, Shaphan, the secretary, uh, sec uh, secretary, informed the king, and uh, Helkiah, the priest, has given me a book, and Shaphan read from it in the presence of the king. When the king heard the words of the book of the law, <coughs> the told his law, and he gives his disorder to Hekiah the priest, uh, Akam son of Sapham, Okbo son of uh, Micaiah, uh, Sapham the secretary, and then Ashaya the king's attendant. Go and inquire of the law for me and uh, for the people and for all Judea about what is written in this book that has been found. Great is the Lord's anger and burns against us because our, our fathers have not obeyed the word of this book. They have not acted in the according with the, all the written the, uh, concerning us. <clears throat> my, peop my people are perished because what? Lack of knowledge. If they know the word of the law, they should not perish. But people, they perish because of lack of, lack of knowledge. Can you stop for, for me just a, a minute?